Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today, and we're taking a look at Berserker. So Berserker is a great Pokemon. I think it's more used in the Ultra League, but uh, it's still a great Pokemon even in the Great League. So I'm definitely excited to take a look and see how it performs. It is really squishy, but it also dishes out a lot of damage. And then we also have a Drift Blim as well as a Politoed in the back. So very cool team. Let's go ahead and see how this trainer plays it out. So going for that foul play, gonna get the shield, very nice. Uh, sneaking in another Shadow Claw, which is obviously really great. So we're going to go ahead and shield that nice shield because it is a Shadow Ball. So this Berserker should be able to win the race, able to get to that foul play. Uh, again, going to do a tremendous amount of damage. It wouldn't surprise me if this is enough to KO. Oh, oh, definitely. Definitely enough to KO. I thought it was a little higher. But anyway, Deox is coming in, switching into Drift Blim. Okay, so I like that switch. Obviously saving the Berserker for that Jellicent later. And now Drift Blim. Gonna be doing pretty good against the Axis. Obviously, the Rock Slide and Thunderbolt are gonna be super effective, so it's not like a hard counter or anything. But you do have a uh, play against the Axis, especially since if you shield once, you would be able to win that matchup. But you don't even have to shield because the opponent is out of shield. Uh, but bringing in Berserker, you can't bring in Polydote because of the Energy Ball. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shield that one up. Well, I guess you could have to go for Blizzard, but the close combat will be enough to KO, I think. I think this KOs. So the close combat coming out, and definitely enough to KO. And then in comes this Jellicent. Can it reach it? No, it cannot reach that foul play. A little unfortunate, but that is okay. Even though Jellicent is resisting Weather Ball and Blizzard from this Politoed, the Politoed should still be able to win this matchup because it can tank a Shadow Ball. And this is probably Shadow Ball, yep, definitely. I can't take another one, but it's going to be able to get to two Weather Balls before another Shadow Ball comes out from the Jellicent, just because of how fast it is. So I'm uh, going to be able to KO with this Politoed and take this win. So very nice win. Definitely a really good lead and a really good safe swap as well, especially since that Deoxys had no shields left and uh, Driplin was able to get off the Shadow Ball. It took a lot from Thunderbolt, but it was still able to take it. And uh, yeah, great win. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move into the next one. And we can also see that this trainer is currently highly ranked at a veteran. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into a, a lead that's really not that good. Going to have to switch into Politoed. Uh, yeah, I do think Politoed was the way to go because Drift Blim will have a better matchup later on. So we're going to go ahead and go for this Weather Ball against, I believe that's a Shiny Mew actually. No, going for Blizzard. Absolutely landing that Blizzard. Calling that Mew would not shield. Very nice Blizzard. So going to go ahead and go for the Weather Ball now. So now I could just spam Weather Balls. Uh, Mew is probably going to charge up for two Wild Charge attacks. So this is likely Wild Charge. So Politoed will go ahead and shield. Politoed does have to win this matchup because it needs to align that Drift Blim up against Metacham. It cannot have Berserker up against Metacham because it's just taking a lot of damage, obviously, with Counter, right? So we're going to go ahead and shield the second Wild Charge. And we do see a switch into Metacham, and now out comes Drip Blim, catching the attack. Now Ice Punch is still going to do a lot of damage, so it's actually Psychic, so beautiful. That still does a lot as well. So yeah, I mean Drip Blim, again, not a hard counter to Metacham, but Metacham is able to land the Shadow Ball. And this should be enough to KO, as it is enough to KO. In comes Bastiodon, and that is great, because then you could have... Well, first of all, you could debuff it, which is what we're seeing right now. But you can have the Berserker with close combat up against Bastiodon, which is really what you want to see, to be honest. So in comes Berserker, and one close combat has got to be enough to KO. Berserker has a really high attack stat, so the close combat is coming out. This should KO, right? Even if it was an XL, I think. Uh, but in comes the Mew, and Mew is... Well, the opponent's going to surrender, but Mew would have went down, so... Yeah, well played. Uh, losing the lead to that meta champion, still able to come back from it. That was really well played. Uh, obviously, investing the shields was very important into the Politoed. Had to win switch and was able to do so. But okay, we have a Bastiodon on the lead. Great matchup for the Berserker. Um, and uh, we do see a switch into Sableye and out comes Politoed. Okay, so again, very important that Politoed can win this matchup because Driplim onto that Bastiodon. It's not something that you want, right? So Politoed is going to take one foul play, so the foul play is going to come through. Going to do a lot, but uh, Politoed can still take one, and it will have to shield. Now, if the Sableye double shields, I wonder if it could farm down. So this might be a little bit scary. The Politoed might go down. Uh, we do know that we don't see another Weather Ball. The foul play is coming out. Politoed will go ahead and shield this and go for a Weather Ball. But I feel like if the Sableye shields, it can farm down, which is a little bit unfortunate. 
but we'll see what happens. Weather Bowl coming out. Yep, they do shield, and they are going for the farm down. Yep, able to get that farm down. Um, so in comes this Berserker. So Berserker is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Going to be a foul play. Uh, yeah, this is going to be tough. I am curious what's in the back. Oh, they switch out. Oh, that switch was definitely a mistake. He should have let the Berserker farm down and then bring in Victor Bell. Actually, you know what? If they did that, though, the Berserker would have been able to get off a foul play, do a lot of damage to Victor Bell, probably farm down and win against Bastiodon anyway. So I totally understand that switch. Uh, but now it's just going to be a good game. Yeah, I guess the opponent really had no out because even if they let the Berserker farm down, the Berserker would have been able to beat that Victor Bell. It is resisting Razor Leaf, and then it would have had energy for close combat against uh, Bastiodon. So now we see them charging up enough for back-to-back -back close combat just in case this doesn't KO and it doesn't KO. So now, actually it's not back-to-back -back income Sableye. So going to go ahead and go for the foul play against the Sableye. This will be enough to KO the Sableye as it does. And now in comes Bastiodon with the move. Oh, wow. With the move. Uh, so it does have that flamethrower that is going to KO. And that's going to actually take that game. So the opponent actually is able to win that one. Okay, I thought I thought we were going to see a win from that Berserk. But no, because that Sableye was still alive, they were actually able to win. Because they were able to take the foul play. Uh, Berserk had to go for the farm down, I guess. But I don't think they would have gotten it. But well played nonetheless, so... Anyway, Metachamp switches in, in comes Driplim. Great matchup, although you do have to watch out for the Ice Punch because it is super effective. But it's still a pretty good matchup for the Driplim. Gonna be a Power Up Punch, very nice. So it could have, it could be Power Up Punch, Ice Punch, it could be Power Up Punch, Psychic, we don't really know. This is gonna be another Power Up Punch. We don't know what other move that Metachamp has. We're gonna go ahead and see a Shadow Ball right now. So this Shadow Ball is gonna be enough to KO, but the Metachamp may shield this. Uh, no, they're going to just let it go and bring in Bastiodon. Okay, so Bastiodon um, is going to get debuffed multiple times. So we do see an Icy Wind. Uh, so this Icy Wind, yep, going to debuff it. It is resisted, but that's totally fine. And the beautiful part about this is this two answers in the back, Berserker and Politoed to the Bastiodon. So don't really have to, to worry too much about this Bastiodon, right? Uh, so we do see another attack coming in. This is going to debuff again. And getting it to about 50%, that Bastiodon is going to switch here. And now in comes that Jellicent, out comes Berserker. A good matchup, although Shadow Ball does do a lot of damage. So there's always that. It, the game's not over yet. But, oh, Shielding a Bubble Beam, the game's definitely not over. But uh, I I think I think this, I think think he's going to be able to win. But uh, I guess we'll see. Berserker is able to pick up a shield and trying to get to another foul play. Not quite able to get to it. Uh, you do have to get this Jellicent low. This could be a Bubble Beam. It is a Bubble Beam. Oh, shielding the Bubble Beam. A little bit unfortunate. But charging up enough for almost two foul plays. Going for one foul play. This foul play is going to uh, get the shield. And Jellicent not able to get to another move before this foul play comes out. Now, the thing is... Uh, this is debuffed, so it might not KO. It does not KO. Jellicent switches out. Oh, man. They switch out. I feel like the Jellicent should have went for a move. I feel like the Jellicent had to go for a move, but that's okay. Uh, that's okay. By the way, if you hear talking in the background, it's my niece downstairs. Uh, I don't know if you do. I don't know if, if the microphone picks up on it. I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, it might not pick up on it, but I hear her, so <laughs> I don't know if you guys can. But either way, this Polytoad is going to take this hit. Going to be a flamethrower, uh, totally fine. Politoed's definitely going to look to farm down, able to do so. And then in comes Jellicent, and this Politoed has multiple uh, weather balls. I feel like the Jellicent had to go for a Shadow Ball against the Berserker to KO it. or some. It, it was a tough matchup, it was a tough matchup. But uh, anyway, great game, well played, and able to win that one. So we're going to go ahead and move on to, I believe, the final game of this video. And again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for submitting these battles. I love shoutcasting your videos, guys. So we do have Berserker into Registeel. Okay, interesting matchup. We'll have to see if the Focus Blast lands, if the Close Combat lands. Uh, they actually try and catch a Close Combat into Deoxys. Out comes Driplim. Uh, so this is great. Now, obviously, Berserker did have a foul play. It could have thrown at Deoxys, but I do like that they switched into Driftblim and saved that energy because now they have energy ready to go for that Registeel, and this Shadow Ball is absolutely going to devastate Deoxys and just KO it anyway. Um, although, Driftblim will have to shield. 
This could be a Psycho Boost, but they're still going to have to shield anyway. It is a Psycho Boost. Driftblum should be able to win this matchup, actually going straight Icy Wind. Just going for the Icy Wind, going for the debuff, and going for the shield as well. We actually do see that shield very nice. Looks like they're going for another Icy Wind. Maybe they're confident Icy Wind KOs. I don't think it does. We'll have to see. Shielding up that Psycho Boost. Uh, I think they could make a Shadow Ball, but they switch into Registeel, switching in to catch the move. Tell me they caught the Flash Cannon. Still gonna do... Actually, it's resisted, so it's really... I mean, it still does a decent amount, to be honest, but... Uh, going to charge up to two close combats, going for one. If this is not enough to KO, they have another move, a Foul Play. Uh, not quite, actually, but oh, they don't click on it, so the Flash Cannon coming in should be enough to KO, but that's okay because you could farm down with Politoed, honestly. So we're going to go ahead and bring in that Politoed and farm down. I, I do like that a lot. I like that a lot. So Politoed does go ahead and farm down, and what is going to come in? Deoxys is very low. It cannot take a Weather Ball, I don't think. Can it? Uh, maybe it can take a Weather Ball, but it still is very low. Um, oh, it can barely take it, but the switch into Ninetales, out comes Driplim. Gonna go ahead and go for this Shadow Ball immediately. So this Shadow Ball is gonna do a tremendous amount of damage, and then it does go down totally fine, because this Driplim, or not Driplim, but this Politoed has another Weather Ball. This Weather Ball is gonna be able to pick up the Knockout, and now in comes Deoxys, and you can just farm that down. So that was a great win. I think that was a 5-0, wasn't it? I think so. I think so. 5-0 in Veteran. So maybe he gets to Expert. That would be really nice. Um, oh no, it looks like a 4-1. Okay, so 4-1. That's okay. Still a great set. A fantastic set as well. So congratulations on that. And thank you again, again, for submitting this content to me. I really do appreciate that. For you allowing me to share this content with others. Um, I love shoutcasting your videos. All of yours. So anyway, yeah, that's going to conclude this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.